You gotta t tire through it a little bit and see what you find. You never know. It's a two day event. We have eight local schools that'll be here over two days. So we're probably touching about 790 uh, students here in, in Madison County. We call it 4 H Goes Wild and we offer it for fourth graders here in our local Madison County schools. We're trying to hit all those science standards they've been learning that's going to be tested on. Uh, so the teachers love this field day because it's a kind of a review before they actually go into their testing. Since this is environmental day, we have to remember the good bugs too. In fact, there's more good bugs than bad bugs. We do all environmental issues, water quality, insects. We do wildlife. And so if, if they have teeth like this, that, that, can, that can grind and mash in the body. We got EKU students here teaching. We got Blake Newton from UK teaching anthropology. So we try to get, encompass a whole lot of stuff that we do uh, with the environment. I think this is a great age to start catching them uh, with environmental issues and just being a, a citizen uh, steward of, of natural resources. Raise your hand if you think you know. Kids are so involved with the technology, their video games. Uh, that we started seeing nature deficient uh, in some of these kids. Uh, obesity rates are up. Kids just don't want to be outside anymore. So our job as a 4-H agent and to work with teachers about the science uh, curriculum and its standards. It's also to gain that interest back to nature, back to the environment. Uh, when we were kids, it was a punishment to be in so inside. Uh, now it's a punishment to go outside. Uh, so we try to make it interesting, try to make them fall in love with it, uh, just to learn. And, all hands-on activities, uh, experimental learning, just to gain that interest no, in the I'm outdoors. Just kind of starting